Now that you've got the basics down for a good chocolate cake, you can move into something a little more complex, red velvet cake with a cream cheese frosting. It's a retro 50s style of cake. The red in a red velvet cake can either come from grated beets or red food coloring. I start with 2 thirds of a cup of room temperature unsalted butter, and I'm going to add to that 2 cups of sugar. This time, regular granulated is just fine. And I'll give this just a moment to beat on rather high speed. Now I can add 2 room temperature eggs, one at a time. It's about integrating the ingredients slowly to get a nice, smooth cake batter. Already it's got a nice fluffy look to it. And two teaspoons of vanilla. And there we go, time for the dry ingredients. This time I'm using all-purpose flour, two and a half cups. And I'll add a teaspoon of baking soda, a common ingredient between the devil's food cake and this recipe. Additionally, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. Sometimes you need two types of leavening, baking soda and baking powder together. And I'm choosing the regular or natural cocoa powder because it has that deep chocolate intensity. And because I'm only adding a quarter cup to the recipe, I want to get as much chocolate punch as I can for a small measure of cocoa powder. The last addition, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give it a little sift. I have a cup and a half of room temperature buttermilk, and this really makes for a rich and moist cake at the end of the day. And I'm going to alternate the dry ingredients with the buttermilk. Remember that that natural cocoa powder, although intense in chocolate taste, is lighter in color, but we're about to transform all that. Of course, some red food coloring. I prefer using the paste coloring because a little goes a long way. The last secret ingredient, the white vinegar. You add a tablespoon of white vinegar. Just give this a little stir. The vinegar reacts with the baking soda and baking powder to rise up the cake so it's nice and light and fluffy. There, and that's a dramatic color change to a cake batter. This red velvet cake, I want to switch it up a little, and so I've got two 8-inch square pans lined with parchment. I'll divide the batter evenly between the two. This batter is a little more dense than that devil's food cake batter, so you have to work it around the pan. And just like the devil's food cake, give the pans a little tap, and these are ready for the oven. I've preheated the oven to 350, and the cakes take about 35 minutes. You can see the vinegar and baking soda go to work as the cakes rise. I have some cooled layers all ready for assembly, but first I have to make that cream cheese frosting. I've got a cup of unsalted butter and 12 ounces of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to beat this until it's smooth, add a teaspoon and a half of vanilla, then gradually add four cups of sifted icing sugar. Remember when you're adding icing sugar, have the mixer on low speed first. Perfect. Now, this is the point we usually have people lining up in the kitchen to offer to help lick the beaters and lick the bowl. Perfect companion to a sweet, rich chocolate cake. And now for the best part, assembling the cake. This time, I'm using a square cake board for my square cake. And check out the red velvet layer. Absolutely gorgeous. A nice dollop to fill the cake. And I always move my icing with a square cake to the corners first. And then fill in from there. The second layer directly on top of that cream cheese. And just like the devil's food cake, I start with the top, then work on the sides. The final bit of complexity to add is to use your offset spatula to create a polished look to the cake. And then with the offset, I just go back and forth, a little more precision than the devil's food cake. Now, this has to chill before you cut into it. If I tried to cut into it now, all that work would just squish out the sides. I'll just pop this in the fridge where I have one already chilled for you. Okay. 
hair. Absolutely stunning. It's always exciting unveiling a red velvet cake. There is that beautiful red velvet color and that deep, dark chocolate taste to go with it.